Supreme Court of India recently declined to grant interim relief for uploading Form 17C data on Election Commission of India's website and publishing booth-wise voter turnout data. The Supreme Court says it cannot interrupt the polls. Notably, the Election Commission of India is facing questions about the voter turnout data in the ongoing elections. On May 22, the ECI told the Supreme Court it couldn't upload Form 17C, an essential record of votes polled at each polling station on its website. This is happening just before the last two phases of the Lok Sabha elections. I am Vishal Upadhyay and you are watching India TV. As India prepares to elect a new government, let's delve into the significance of Form 17C and why it has become a focal point. Opposition's Concerns Opposition leaders and activists are concerned about the delays in releasing the final voter turnout data. For example, the ECI shared the final figures 11 days after the first phase of polling on April 19 and took 4 days each to release the data for the next 3 phases. Critics also highlight that the ECI hasn't disclosed the exact number of voters in each parliamentary constituency this time. They are worried about the unexpected spikes in voter turnout figures compared to the provisional data released on polling day. Recently, Trinamool Congress leader Mahua Moitra shared voter data from the Krishna Nagar seat, where she contested against the BJP's Amrita Roy. She questioned the election commission about its failure to compile the data for the concluded phases. What exactly is Form 17C? Form 17C is a crucial document that records votes cast at polling stations across the country. It includes the number of electors assigned to each polling station, the total numbers of registered voters in an area, the number of electors who did not cast votes, the number of electors not allowed to vote, the total number of votes recorded on electronic voting machines, Details about ballot papers and paper seals. The second part of Form 17C is equally critical and relates to the counting day. It lists the candidates' names and the total votes each received. It also verifies whether the votes recorded at the booth match the total votes polled. Legal and procedural significance According to Rules 49S and 56C of the Conduct of Election Rules 1961, the presiding officer prepares an account of votes recorded in Part 1 of Form 17C and provides it to each polling agent. Part 2 of Form 17C is filled out by the supervisor of the counting station and must be signed by each candidate or their representative. This form is then checked by the returning officer. What do you think about this whole issue? Do let us know in the comments and keep watching India TV for more updates.